Hey guys, I haven't really done this in a while, so this is actually my first attempt at doing a Gen 6 Wi-Fi battle. Now let me explain. The reason why I say this is because, one, I didn't have the versus recorder. This is during the main game, so I couldn't do anything about it post-game, so... Meh, whatever. My opponent today is Soul Rob, aka Pink Paladin 04. Links in the description for anyone who cares. I choose Dodrio, my opponent chose Sylveon, and yeah, there's a battle time of one hour, so we gotta make every move count. Anyway, let's get started. I start off with a drill pack, and that did some damage, but Sylveon went for the Moon Blast, and the Moon Blast did a crap load of damage. Not to mention drop my special attack. I had to do something fast, because I didn't want to get myself killed, so... He pulls for a quick attack, and that really didn't do much. It drained its health by force, so I go for the fly, and I went airborne. Yeah, it's the only way I can do it, because if his attack was any higher, I would have been done for, and that would have really sucked. But either way, he makes a switch, and I don't know if he made a smart switch, but to be fair, he actually did make a smart switch. He goes for Aegislash, the fly kicks in, and it doesn't really be that effective, despite the fact that my Dodrio's EVs are very high. I'm not kidding, they are very high. High in attack power. I go for the Pursuit, and despite the super effective, it didn't drop its health below half. This is where Aegislash activates its stance change. Its stance change basically changes depending on whether you use an attack or not. Since it's now in blade form, its attack strength is off the charts. I'm like, oh my god, that is just really incredible. I really like that. And yeah, Aegislash is the final form of that Pokemon Haunt Age. Anyway, I bring out my Tyrantrum, and I just literally want to break him down. And yeah, I use Tyrantrum a lot during the main game, and I will be bringing it for sure. He pulls a Sacred Sword, and I wonder if it's like super effective. Yeah, it is super effective. It does over 100 damage. And I go for the Crunch to take it down. And since it's in its attack form, see you around, since <laughs> it ain't that much of a challenge. Yeah, with one Pokemon down, I had to be cautious, because who knows? I had to be prepared. Okay, I'm pretty much wondering what to do next, since I already have leftovers healing me. Though it's a small amount, I'll have to do me nicely. And he sends out this Astaza. I don't know what it's called, but I think it's the final form of that Scrout Pokemon. Yeah, it has to be. So, I go for the Dragon Claw, and the Dragon Claw does a lot of damage, super effective. But he goes for the Hydro Pump and misses, and I'm like, yes, thank god it missed. But knowing him by now, he pretty much make a switch, and I think he made a pretty smart switch too. Yeah, I'm spoiling it because I'm we're actually doing it in the main game-wise, because remember, I don't have the versus recorder. He switches for CPC, aka Sylveon. I go for the Dragon Claw and it doesn't work, so I had to th come up with a different weapon to do this. Yeah, even though my Tyrantrum is high attack with its high attack EVs, it ain't gonna do much against a Sylveon since I go for the Earthquake and I'm pretty much wondering if it's gonna kill it. Yeah, it doesn't really kill it, but he goes for the Moon Blast and he takes it down. Yeah, Tyrantrum has been a powerhouse throughout my main game, so yeah, it sucks that he had to go down like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm just being a bit random with this sort of thing. All right, now at three minutes in the battle, I decide to send out my Raichu. Yeah, I like Raichu more than Pikachu, despite the fact that Pikachu in Gen 6 has his traditional Pikachu sound. I go for the Thunderbolt and I finally take down Sylveon. Thank God for it. Bye bye Oh man, that battle was insane. Can't believe Sylveon took down my Tyrantrum like that. Sheesh. He sends out Tim Allen, which is a chestnut. Yeah, it is a chestnut. So I had to make a switch, since if I sent out Dodrio, he would be victim to another attack. But I decided to go anyway with a Discharge. Sure, it wasn't really that effective, but it does give me the Paralysis boost. It's like a 1 in 3. He then goes for the Mud Shot, and the Mud Shot does like some damage, but it basically lowered its speed. I believe his intention was to just lower as much speed as possible so he can finish it off. I go for another Discharge again, and the Discharge does some damage, but the Parahax didn't go through. But that's when he decides to finish off my Raichu with a Wood Hammer. Yeah, it sucks. Raichu goes down. Ah. But at least there is one good thing about Wood Hammer, the recoil. Yeah, my Chestnut also has Wood Hammer. But I don't really use it much on the count that I have moves like Power Up Punch and Giga Impact. Alright, here we go. I send out my Blaziken, because Blaziken is the only thing strong enough to take it down. And he gets up a Spiky Shield, which is kind of nice, since Spiky Shield acts like Protect, but it has some interesting properties. Basically, anytime you attack it, it doesn't do damage. 
And no, there are no Mega Evolution for this one since I had to remove my Blaziken Knight before the fight. I go for the Blaze Kick and I take it down. And <laughs> yeah, so much for that Chestnut. Despite the fact that he got hurt by the Rocky ha Helmet. Very smart of him. Very smart of him to use the Rocky Helmet for a battle like this. Very. The speed boost kicks in, and yeah, this is the mystery gift Torchic that I gotten from the beginning, which has now become a Blaziken. Next up, he sends out Talonflame, aka Jamie Foxx. Nicknamed after an actor? That's rather surprising. Rather surprising indeed, since it takes him a while to make a move. I go for the Brave Bird, and look at how the animation for Brave Bird is. Just insane. Gen 6 really upped the ante with this. But he goes for Fly, and I think to myself, why would he go for Fly? If I had Sky Uppercut, it would have done like some more damage, but I don't know if it would have been that effective. So carelessly, I decide to go for another attack, because I'm an idiot, and I miss. I should have switched. And Jamie Foxx is able to finish off my Blaze again with little to no effort. Yeah, that sucks, but meh. I'm not complaining per se. Okay, I gotta deal with an annoying Talonflame and an Astasaur. I gotta find out what that name is called. Alright, I bring out my Blastoise, because Blastoise is the only thing that's going to have to take it down. Let's see what attack I'll pull off this time, because like I said, this is live. And this is where I react to the Mega Ring, and I Mega Evolve. Normally, if I ever do something like that, it would just be like a running gag. I would just put like the Power Rangers Mega Force theme on it. And he goes for the fly, and I forgot, my Blastoise isn't that fast against Talonflame. I go for the Surf, but I don't think it works. But since it's faster, I know I'm expecting a hit by Fly. It does so, and Blastoise's defense handles it nicely. I go for the Surf. Bye bye Talonflame. Not worth it if you could put it that way. <laughs> okay, with Blastoise taken down, Mega Evolved and ready, I'm all set to finish the job. So he sends out Astasur, and since it's got low health, I can pretty much tell this game's already going to be mine. Though knowing him, he's going to have something planned. But I wonder what he's going to do. Oh, and I go for the Bite too, since Bite pretty much takes it down. Yeah, Bite's a Dark-type move, and I know I'm going to have to have a Dark-type ready when I have to evolve my Pan Jam into a Pan Goro. Meh. So he sends out Blaze again, and knowing him, he's going to Mega Evolve. But you know what? This battle's almost over, so I may as well just finish the job and pull off the Surf. And now it's going to react to the Saw's Mega Ring, and it becomes a Mega Blaze again. Next time Mega Evolutions ever happen, I'll have to pull the running gag with Power Rangers Mega Force theme. But I don't think it really matters that much because I get the Surf off and take down Mega Blaziken. Good game. It was a pretty good battle. Check out Pink Paladin 04. He plans on doing a lot more. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And remember, if you want to get in a battle, don't forget to post your friend code on the video that I provide in the description. Alright, later.